Here's an unorthodox game that ends in a swift victory for Hikaru Nakamura using the unconventional hippopotamus defense. Let's dive into the key moments and decisions of this game. The game opens with d4, a standard opening move, and Hikaru as black replies with g6, signaling his intent to Fienkedo the dark squared bishop. White plays c4, further strengthening the center, and black responds with bishop g7, completing the Fienkedo. White continues with knight c3, developing a piece and reinforcing their control of the center, while black opts for b6, preparing to fianchetto the light squared bishop as well. This pawn move solidifies black's commitment to the hippopotamus defense. White continues knight f3, developing in a principled manner, and black completes the double fianchetto. Now white's starting to get jealous of black's bishops, so they play g3. And black continues with d6, reinforcing the center somewhat, but also making room for the knight. White then fianchettos their light squared bishop. Black responds with knight d7, and it's clear Hikaru doesn't want to move the pieces too far in case they may get captured. White castles, and black plays e6, almost completing the setup. The game continues with b3 and knight e7. This way of organizing the pawns and pieces is what many call the hippopotamus defense. The pawns don't go past the sixth rank, and the pieces stick to the seventh rank. After bishop b2 and castles, both sides have for the most part completed their development, and the stage is set for a tense middle game. White pushes forward with e4, and black responds with h6, preparing to create counterplay on the king side. With rook e1, white reinforces the e4 pawn and central control. Then, the first black pawn to make it to the fifth rank, g5. White responds by playing a4, expanding on the queen side, and black responds with a5, restricting white's pawn advances. White continues with queen c2, a mistake, because the d4 pawn becomes loose. Black could play g4, removing the defender of the d4 pawn. Instead, Hikaru plays knight c6, adding an attacker to d4, and also targeting the weak dark squares on the queen side. Now, white should play a move like knight b5, because it improves both the knight and the bishop while solidifying the center. Instead, white plays d5, which looks like a good move that gains space, but it's another mistake, because black's dark squared bishop comes alive, and black could also take advantage of the weakened c5 square. The game is still fairly balanced, but things start to sway in black's favor after knight b5 attacking the queen. White saves their queen, and black plays knight c5, attacking b3, and looking to infiltrate white's camp. In the final critical position, white plays queen d1, defending the b3 pawn. However, this is a blunder, and can you figure out how black can win? Hikaru seizes the opportunity to exploit the weak squares in white's position by playing knight c to d3 with an attack on the rook and the hanging bishop. And white will lose material no matter what. Rook e2 does not work because black captures the bishop and the knight is left undefended. White's best bet is to play queen d2 and black can simplify before winning the exchange. You're not beating Hikaru down this much material, so... Black resigned after knight c to d3. I hope you enjoyed this game. Subscribe for more.